Hello good people, Magnet be here, welcome to my channel. In this channel it's all about sharing on the best skills that you require to get started working online and the best job that you can specialize in working online, the job that best suits your talents and capabilities. So if you are new to my channel and you like that content, you like to be learning more on working online, kindly consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing each time I upload new content. Before I get into this video, I would also like to remind my new members that I have a transcription training. So if you have any problem on transcription, kindly contact me here, WhatsApp me or give me a call and then we can sort out all those problems in transcription. Away from all that, in today's video I'm going to start up with transcribers, especially the new transcribers in this transcription field. So there are terms that even in whichever profession you are, maybe a teacher, a doctor, any profession, you can never read a paragraph without hearing them. In transcription, these terms may include these types of transcription, such as clean read, some companies may call them non-verbatim and verbatim jobs. So today I'm going to major in those two types of jobs, verbatim and non-verbatim, and what they entail and what you are required to do when given instruction to deal with a verbatim or a non-verbatim job. To make sure you better understand this, I'm going to discuss on clean dead and verbatim jobs and then later on share my screen, take the actual practical work on clean dead and verbatim jobs. Okay, let's get started. What's the a verbatim? In a verbatim job, you should include word by word what the speaker says, including filler content, status, and repetitions. And then clean dead, we move all those to make the text concise and precise, easy to understand. Now, what's the difference between a clean date and a verbatim file? In a verbatim file, we include status. What are status? Status, these are some repetition that a speaker says when communicating. For example, one might say, one might say, tra tra transcription. In verbatim, we include all those tra tras with an hyphen in front of each and in a clean job, we just write transcription. Another thing that makes the difference between verbatim and clean file is filler speech, filler content, and filler words. This include sounds like arm, air, eh, and such stuff. These sounds must be included in verbatim, and in a clean case, we eliminate them. Another thing that makes the difference between this is what we call repetition. Repetition occurs in a case where a speaker repeats the same word twice or maybe sometimes three words, three times, sometimes two to three words. For example, a speaker might say something like, I la love you, I love love you. In verbatim, we include the both loves, I love love you. But in clean dead, we just include one, I love you. And again, another thing that makes a difference is filler or crunchy words. Like, for example, Words like sort of, like, kind of, you know, words that don't add meaning to the sentence. And again, you should be very keen on which company that you work for and make sure you read the specific instructions to understand and to get to know which words are considered as filler words and which words are not considered filler words. Because some companies may consider words like so to be filler words and some so as not being a filler word. And some companies may consider not starting sentences with and and some companies may actually accept starting a sentence with and even if it's in a clean dead file so make sure you concentrate on that and then in clean dead on non verbatim we don't include interjections and feedback words what are these words sometimes let's say in a setting of a class a lecturer and a student a student trying to reply maybe ask the question what's transcriptionized and is trying to reply saying transcription is the art of and then the lecturer is saying mm -hmm, yeah trying to recommend him or her to continue speaking mm -hmm, right continue and such words that those words are considered filler content in the sentence and hence they should not be included in cleaned or non-verbatim jobs but they can be included in verbatim jobs and again another thing the audio or the video might be recorded where there is some background noise, sometimes there is some music and people are laughing, the speaker is coughing. In those cases, in clean dead jobs, maybe you can be provided with 
audio tags which you, you should be using instead of those non-speech sounds. But in verbatim, in many companies, they recommend you use them. So in this case, again, make sure you study and understand the requirements of the specific company that you're working for. And again, in the case of repetition, sometimes the speaker can use repetition for emphasis. For example, the speaker might say something like, I really, really like my pet. In this case, really, really is not filler content in the sentence because it's used for emphasis. So make sure you note those terms and how they are used. Because sometimes, again, kind of cannot be a filler word, you know, cannot be a filler word. So make sure you understand the context on which the word has been used. And so the next part, I'm going to share my screen so that you can get to understand on how these words, these clean dead and verbatim jobs are done. They usually say you cannot ride a bicycle by just reading a book. Let's go to the practical part. Hello, this is a sample of a, a video file which I'm going to transcribe in both verbatim and clean dead. Let's get started. So this is the video that we're going to transcribe. Here are the audio tags and the length of the video is just two minutes. Let's give it a shot, guys. That we are going to transcribe it in verbatim, and then later we transcribe it in the form of link read. What's up, guys? My name is George Williams. I go by George, and I am a second semester senior. I will be graduating in December and going into the real world. So that is. That is my main motivation for taking this course, uh, besides the fact that I need these filler words here. This sound, uh, of course, uh, besides the fact that I need a couple more credits to graduate. Um, I am, um, um, I am a econ major and a digital studies minor econ major and a digital studies minor and uh, beyond that verbatim and you can start a sentence so it's that and uh, beyond that uh, minor and uh, beyond that I have never taken a comm class before. Um, my most memorable you know, my most memorable public speaking experience has to be uh, last summer. I be uh, last summer. I you know, be uh, last summer. I was working for Red Ventures in South Carolina and Red Ventures in South Carolina and I gave my final presentation in front of the president of my vertical as well as some other vice presidents and some managers and that was was definitely managers and that was and that was was definitely the most uh, that was was definitely in this case there's a repetition of was so in this instance he has not used the word was for emphasis so it, it is a filler content in the sentence so was and hyphen and then the second was 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 definitely the most stressful speech i've ever given but it was a lot of fun and it uh it felt great when it was over uh my favorite speech My favorite speech has to be um, the content. The, um, the speech that Robin Williams that Robin Williams gives uh, Will Hunting in Good Will Hunting, uh, where he, he uh, Will Hunting in Good Will Hunting. Uh, so such. In this case, you can see what they say in good wheel hunting, but mistakenly he said wheel hunting. So in this case, you have to the mistake. So what you do, 
you include the first text that was wrong with a hyphen and then write the correct content in front of it. This, I think, a name of a book or something. I think we should search it on Google and then be sure about it. Could we hunting? This is the, the context of an American drama film directed by blah blah blah. So I think you can see what one that says in could we hunting, but he said win he said win hunting by mistake. So you include the first text before continuing. Good will hunting, uh, where he, he finishes off by saying you're a mid chief. He talks about you can read all the books and and for us we can watch all the all he talks about you can read all the books and and for us we can watch all the and and for us we can watch all the all the TV and movies all the all the TV and movies repetition yeah. all, the, all the TV and movies we want and and learn everything that we want and and learn everything that we and learn everything that we would would ever need to know and we would would ever need we would would ever need to know about something the repetition going up would ever need to know about something to be able to pass a class or something to be able to pass a class or talk about it in conversation but unless we go out and really experience it see a piece of art firsthand be able to experience a new place then we'll never really actually have a genuine experience um, and i think especially experience um, and i think especially in the times that we're in that is is so relevant so that that is is so relevant petition is amazing and then the next is is so relevant so that has to be my favorite speech see in this case we have transcribed this step in babati so let's do it again in print it now. Yeah. What's up guys? My name is George Williams. I go by George and I am a second semester senior. I will be graduating in December and going into the real world. So that is my in Babit. So it's considered that it doesn't add any meaning sentence. So we move this in print. So that is my main motivation for taking this course, uh, besides the fact that I need a couple more. In uh, besides the fact that I need a couple more credits to graduate, um, I am. In we should remove in print. Um, I am a econ major and a digital studies minor. And uh, beyond that, uh, in the they don't require you in green to start the sentence and so you move and and this be a word that's um, yeah, like that. And uh, beyond that, I have never taken a con class before. Um, my most memorable um, my most memorable public speaking experience has to be uh, last summer I was uh, last summer I was working for Red Ventures in South Carolina and I gave my final presentation in front of the president of my vertical as well as some other vice presidents and some managers and that was was definitely and she was the sentence and that was was definitely repetition that was definitely the most stressful speech i've ever given but it was a lot of fun and it uh it felt uh, my favorite speech uh, my favorite speech has to be um, the speech the speech that Robert Williams gives uh, Will Hunting and Good Will Hunting uh, where in this case 
gives uh, will hunting and goodwill hunting. Uh, in this case, as I said before, I wanted to say in goodwill hunting, and then you say by mistake, will hunting before saying in goodwill hunting. So in plain read, we delete the first one. Make that to make the sentence precise and concise. In goodwill hunting, uh, where he, he finishes. And it's written in title case because this is the title of a movie. We had such it before. Hunting, uh, where he, he finishes off. Another repetition. He finishes off so by saying, "Your mid chief." He talks about. You can read all the books and and for us. Another repetition. And for us, we can watch all the all the TV and movies. We Another repetition. All the TV and movies we want, and and TV and movies we want, and and learn everything that we. Would repetition. and learn everything that we would would ever need to repetition. Would ever need to know about something to be able to pass a class or talk about it in conversation. But unless we go out and but unless we go out and really experience it, see a piece of art firsthand, be able to experience a new place, then we'll never really actually have a genuine experience. Um, and I think especially in the times that we're in, that is, is so relevant. Repetition. Is, is so relevant. So that has to be my favorite speech. Guys, okay, you're done. Now, this this how to tackle a clean job. Moving forward, uh, repetitions, status, slang, changing one up, going to got to go to change one at one two so that's how you tackle a clean job thank you we are done thank you for watching my video to the end if a new member to my channel welcome to the big big growing online family and consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that don't miss a thing each time i upload a new video for captioning and transcription training contact me by this number here so that you can sort out all those problems in captioning and transcription until next time stay tuned for the next episode bye